Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium. Um, my wife and I were having lunch today, and um, my wife's mother's ill. And currently living with her is my wife's son. And he rested at the hospital yesterday, and he's a doctor, or studying to be a doctor. Uh, he self-diagnosed what was wrong with her, got out of the hospital. She'd have been a goner. Lungs rapidly filling up with fluid. Um, and I said, was it six months ago you saved your son's life? He was having strokes, a lot of strokes, and she got in the hospital. Ten minutes later, he'd have been a goner. Maybe that's the title of this video. He would have been a goner. She would have been a goner. <clears throat> you know, I said, see how it works? You saved him. He saved her. And then she, I said, and you saved me. And she said, and you saved me. So it's sort of the domino theory of saving people. And I said, what we need are more people that save people. And she said, that's a good video. And I thought, is a good video and I probably would have missed it had she not been there to and she wrote it down on a on our slip for that we bought lunch with um, what we need are more people savers and interesting I know most people who watch my videos are saving people's lives sometimes whether you know it or not you say the right thing and it strikes them just right and they change what they're doing. They stop eating so much salt or they seek medical advice on a kidney pain or it doesn't take much. Just being a people saver. Uh, first of all, people savers are full of empathy more than the average person. And the empathy you have allows you to pick up on people in distress. It's, it's just that simple that, you know, if someone enters a room that you've been in for a while and you feel the tension change and you feel a lot of stress and you feel like they're in trouble, that's true. That's what you're picking up on because you're high empathy level. And you have the opportunity to save a life. Most people don't do anything about it because they don't want to be embarrassed. I don't know this guy. I'm going to go out and say something to him. But, um, People often take things better from strangers than they do from people they know. And um, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can tell someone in a moment and they get really irate. But um, I do it all the time. I'm willing to take someone yelling at me in order to make a point that this needs to be looked into, whatever it is. And I explain who I am and why, why I said it. And it usually... I can get away with it. You, I don't know. You're on your own. But at some level, empathetic people are saving other people's lives. It's in the nature of what they do and often attract those people to them who are in that moment of stress and misunderstanding and confusion. Why? Because their empathy level's high and they're giving out a vibration that they will help you if you get near enough to them. I park my car way out from whatever store I'm in because I don't want to get a car door dinged. And there's nobody out there. It's a wasteland. We go in the store for 10 minutes and there's eight cars around the, my car. And there's a reason for it. People are attracted to people who can help. Subconsciously, they don't know I'm going to park way. I'm going to walk a quarter mile in. The car itself carries the empathy. The, this house that we live in carries a positive note. Everybody that's come in here that gets a reading has said so. Oh, this just feels this feels calming. This feels great. It's because the kind of people we are. So never underestimate the power of your empathy and caring to save a life. 
and I'm going to say even to your detriment, even if this person is not someone that needs to be saved, even if this is the most horrible person in the world, doing the right thing um, is always the right answer. I know it just sounds completely off, but everybody deserves that. And you never know, you might be the person to change your life. Say, so watch out for this, look out for that. Oh, there's a banana peel there. Don't slip and fall down and hit your head and die. And at some point they see the validity of that and it changes their whole course. You, you don't know what little things can do. Words are very powerful things. And how they impact everybody is different. But if your heart's in it, if you have the positive force behind it, then it, then it usually goes well. So um, what we need are more people savers. And I hope that you're one of them. And I hope you listen to this. And I hope that it inspires you to maybe go out and try and save somebody, even when it is going to hurt you. It might hurt you here, but, but spiritually, it'll help you there. I don't know if I can explain that or not, but that's all there is to it. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.